Welcome to Calisthenics Kids, lesson number 22. For today's lesson, you're going to need a chair or at least something that can support um, some of your weight. And today we're going to be focusing on something called the dragon squat. But before we get into that, let's recap some moves we've gone over previously. So we are just going to start by getting our toes on the ground and then pushing ourselves into this position here. So rocking back, imagine you've got a camera at the front and all you're doing, push yourself up, film to the front. Push yourself up, film to the front. Now this may feel easy or difficult depending if you've been following on with the lessons we've done previously. So just take it at your own pace. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna film to the front, film to the left and film to the right. Let's try that again. So push yourself back, film to the left, film to the right. Now if you still need your hands on the floor, that's absolutely fine. Work with whatever you've got. Now if this feels easy, then what I want you to do is try and pull yourself back using your arms. So almost imagine you're swimming your way forward and then see if you can stay off your hands. You might come, you might be dropping your knee to the floor one at a time, you might be skilled enough to take them both up. Just work on wherever you're at. Mum, Dad, make sure you're getting involved as well. Now what we're going to do is pull ourselves up, film overhead, film to the left, film to the right. Let's try that again. Film overhead, film to the left, film to the right. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to try that and imagine we're climbing out of that bottom position. So, if this is easy for you, you're almost gonna imagine you're doing a butterfly. Film to the left, film to the right. Film up above you as high as you possibly can, making sure you're reaching as tall as you can. Try not to fall over. And then let's see if we can bring ourselves down. Excellent job so far. Okay, next thing we're gonna work on is our duck walk. So you're gonna start in a position like this, imagine your knee is trimming the carpet. So I'm gonna start here, imagine your knee is trimming that carpet as you come forward, and imagine you're almost scraping something off your shoe as you come back. So trimming the grass or the carpet with your knee, and then scraping something off your shoe as you come back. Okay, next thing we're gonna work on is our monkey. But because of today's focus, we're going to leave one of the legs slightly out longer. So keep cue. Imagine we're lazy driver, one hand on the wheel. So one hand comes over the top and we're going to land one, two, three, four. See how far you can stretch that leg forward. Show me the base of your foot as you do. So one, two, three, four, big reach. Imagine you're kicking somebody and then coming forward. Let's try that again. If that feels easy, I want you to push harder through the floor to get a little bit more air time. So if that's feeling easy, we can go one, two, three, four. And if you can, I want you to combine that monkey with the outreach leg with our duck walk. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, outreach, and then into my duck walk. And then can I reverse that? So I'm gonna duck walk myself back, and then one, two, Three, four. I'm going to try that once more from this side and then swap over. So one, two, three, four, outreach that leg. Then I'm into my duck walk and then I'm coming back to where I started. Okay, let's swap sides now. So again, landing one, two, three, four. Show me that sole of your foot. So let's try from here. So one, two, three, four, reach that leg forward. And then can we end up back where we started? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Show me what socks you're wearing. Mine are obviously cool, pineapples on them, yours, not sure. And then can we reverse that? One, two, three, four. Let's go for one more try. So one, two, three, four, and then duck walk to reverse. Excellent job. Now what we're gonna do is remember our horse walk from a few lessons ago. So we're staying nice and low, or as low as we can, can to the floor. And all we're gonna do is come out to the side, 
shift our weight across and almost like we're doing a really exaggerated step over, step across. Really exaggerated step over, step across. So each time we're doing this, we're trying to get as wide a position as we can. Now, if this is difficult, you can have your hands on the floor as you do it. So wide, keep your hands on the floor, wide, keep your hands on the floor, wide, and just play about with where that foot position ends up. So I might point it up to the sky, I might point my knee inwards, whatever feels comfortable for you. So just imagine big step over, and then bring that foot with it. Big step over, bring that foot with it. Excellent job so far. Now what we're gonna do is combine our frogger movement with something called a curtsy squat. Don't worry about the names. So all you're gonna do is start, stood up, take one leg into the air, and then see, imagine you're opening a gate, and then you're threading that needle behind you. So how far can you take that leg? And then I'm gonna try spinning around. I'm watching you. So leg in the air, how far behind can we take it? And then spinning ourselves around. Let's try that a couple of times. So your challenge, if you will, is to take this leg as far as you can. So a couple of ways you've got going about this. Either pop a marker on the floor. So I'm just gonna use this hat. And can I touch this marker? Can I knock it out of the way? And then down, so if you're really confident, get that knee on the floor before you spin round. And each time, you're gonna challenge yourself to get that foot a little bit further. So can I knock it out of the way? Knee down, then imagine I'm filming all around. So 360 degrees. So knock it out of the way as best you can. If you're able to, knee on the floor. Here's my camera, 180, 360 right at the front. Okay, next thing we're gonna practice is we're gonna imagine we're pushing back into our horse walk, but then we're gonna see if we can film at the front. So start with one leg outstretched, and then all you're gonna do is push the floor away, see if you can get all the way down here. So knee slowly down, all the way down here. If you feel like you're gonna fall over, that's fine. Have your sofa or something behind you. So pushing all the way down. If I keep my hand back here, that's fine. Just try and lean forward a little bit. So for example, I push back with my right hand. Can I get this foot flat? Support my weight with my left. So right hand to push me back, left hand to support me. Can we keep this foot flat? There's your another challenge. Again, you might find that this makes you feel it in different areas. Okay, let's swap round. How's our balance looking? So this time, I'm gonna push down with the left, and if I need my right hand behind me, I can. So if you're even more skilled, see if you can use only one hand to get yourself in position. If this is easy, play about with where this hand is. Can we get to the point, oh, can we get to the point where we can do it without using our hands at all? If it feels, bit off then go back to using your hands and all I want you to do is you're going to slide across just like we've done in our horse walk so position so pull yourself back slide across knee down so pull yourself back slide across knee down almost like you're a ninja so I'm sliding across waxing the floor waxing off and then just have yourself a bit of a rest Okay, so now we're gonna get onto today's movement challenge where we will need a chair or at least something that can support your body weight. So what I want you to do, grab yourself a chair or block, whatever, make sure you've got something close to you. Out of shot, I've got a sofa. And all I want you to do is pop your leg up on the block like this. Now from here, what I wanna see is, let's keep that foot to the side. Let's lean that foot forward, so bring that Imagine there's a biscuit underneath your heel. Can you stand up without breaking the biscuit? If you want, you can put an actual biscuit there. Can you lower down nice and quietly? So if you're hitting the floor hard, there's too, not enough control. Use your sofa, use your mum and dad's hand, whatever. See if you can gently come up and then can you gently lower yourself down? Again, use, use a parent's hand if you need to. 
keep the sofa nearby. We don't want any accidents. So we're working on balance, strength, and a little bit of skill. So can we lower down, making sure that when we're doing so, we're trying not to wobble. Imagine there's a bowl of water on your head. That bowl of water should, or that water should stay in the bowl all the way down. If you want to make it easier, you can pile up some books. If you want to make it harder, use a higher surface. Now I'm going to swap sides just to make sure I've done both legs. So I'm going to lower down. How low can you go? And now what I want you to do, if that feels easy, is I want you to play about with where this leg goes. So can we bring it around the back and then come up again if you're struggling, hold on to the chair, push the chair away. But how far back can I take it? So I'm going to take my leg right, 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 and then come back. Okay, so the challenge now, thinking caps on, we are going to put a hat or some kind of marker as far out to the side as we can. So what I'm looking for in today's movement challenge is how much control and sideways movement can you get. Make sure you tag calisthenic kids in your efforts. Now I'm going to show you mine. So I'm going to have something that my leg can touch. I'm going to make sure that this leg is coming around the outside. I'll use the chair if I need to, but how far around can I get that leg? And the bonus point is if I can get up without using that chair. So how far around can I take it? I get a bonus point if I can stand up. Compare your left side to your right side. Make sure you tag calisthenics kids in your actions. This has been lesson 22 on the dragon squat. I'll catch you again in the next lesson.